He spent two days mingling with other world leaders, but it was a tweet delivered once he got back home that had the biggest impact on Monday. President Trump said China had agreed to reduce and remove tariffs, currently set at 40 percent, on US-made vehicles. Good news for the likes of Tesla and BMW, who make in the States and export to China. But neither country had mentioned auto tariffs in their official readouts of the Trump Xi meeting, and there was no mention of it by Beijing on Monday either. Actually, the consensus reached is to halt the imposition of new tariffs. And at the same time, the two leaders instructed their economic teams to intensify talks to remove all tariffs so they can reach a mutually beneficial win-win agreement. The two leaders met for two and a half hours in Argentina, after which the US agreed not to raise further tariffs for at least 90 days. China, in return, offered to buy more agricultural products from US farmers. Both sides have to sell this as a victory to their own electorates. But in that sense, I don't think we should be too surprised that you know, both sides are claiming some sort of victory. And there are still other deep divisions, intellectual property protection, non-tariff trade barriers and cyber theft among the topics which will now be discussed. If the Chinese clamp down or are at least less overt in their desire to uh, take technical uh, information and data from Western companies setting up business in China, that will certainly be a major step forward. But you know, if we don't see any change in behaviour, then certainly uh, you can expect the trade issues to blow up once again. The other problem is the ongoing impact of the current tariffs. An economic slowdown in China is expected to continue as domestic demand weakens. 